The infantry battalion exists in three basic forms. The mechanized infantry battalion, with its tracked and wheeled APCs. The motorized battalion, with its variety of unarmored wheeled vehicles, which is limited to foot speed when in contact with the enemy. And the light infantry battalion, that basically fights on foot, having few support weapons, and a very restricted capacity for carrying combat supplies. Infantry battalions have the same basic capabilities, which are to destroy the enemy by fire and movement and hold ground, to conduct operations under all conditions of weather, terrain, and visibility, to conduct, depending on the degree of specialization, air mobile, air assault, and air landed operations, as well as amphibious landings, and to operate independently in low intensity situations. The mechanized infantry battalion has good cross-country mobility and light armor protection while mounted. It can accompany armor in fast-moving operations, operate from dispersed locations, and concentrate quickly to engage the enemy. Its APCs are amphibious and provide a limited degree of MBC protection. The battalion normally fights in close cooperation with armor, artillery, engineers, and other combat support and service support elements. Its ability to also fight alone when required sets it apart from all other arms. The mechanized battalion numbers nearly 1,000 all ranks and is organized into a headquarters, four rifle companies, a combat support company, and an administrative company. Throughout this production, reference will be made to various components of the battalion and the echelon system. Basically speaking, F echelon includes all vehicles, personnel, weapons and equipment, which are essential to fight the battle. A echelon includes personnel, vehicles, equipment and stores, which must be readily available for the administrative support of F echelon. And B echelon contains the personnel, vehicles, equipment and troops, not in F or A echelons, needed for the general ongoing administrative support of the unit. The battalion headquarters is composed of a command element, a command post section, which comprises an operations group and an intelligence element, a signal platoon, and a military police section. The command element includes the commanding officer, his deputy, the regimental sergeant major, and their driver communicators. The CO is responsible for the organization, fighting efficiency, discipline, and administration of his battalion. In battle, he commands the battalion either from his main headquarters, where he has good communications with his deployed elements, or from his tactical command post in the forward area. The DCO functions from the alternate battalion HQ and remains current on all ongoing activities. The RSM is the CO's advisor on matters involving the troops and generally his right-hand man. He can accompany the CO when he travels. In battle, he is responsible for organizing the headquarters area and its local security. His other responsibilities vary according to the requirements of the CO. The battalion command post is formed by interlinking the operations group, the intelligence element, the battalion fire support coordination center, and their associated clerks and signalers. It provides the information, communications, and staff support needed by the CO to fight the battle. The CP operates under the direction of the battalion operations officer, who runs the battle for the CO, coordinates the different battalion plans, carries out much of the required coordination with the brigade staff, and writes orders based on the concept of operations. He also functions as the senior duty officer. The operations center is the hub of battalion activities and is manned by duty officers and communicators who act as a coordinated team. Most of the battalion's operations are planned, coordinated and monitored from this facility. It controls the battalion command net and is an outstation on the formation net. The fire support coordination center is a crucial component of the battalion CP complex. It is structured on the headquarters of the mortar platoon 
and normally operates in conjunction with the supporting battery commander's party. It would also involve any air liaison officers allocated to the battalion. Discuss a little bit of the situation and... The FSCC coordinates all indirect fire, close air support, and air defense assets, integral to or assigned to the battalion. It passes on air raid warnings and prepares and distributes the required fire plan information. And they run from west the intelligence east. office what is headed by the battalion I.O., uh, who provides battalion headquarters and subunits with like combat intelligence. You can see here. His staff collects all. information okay. of intelligence uh, interest from patrols, well, OP surveillance devices, air photos, maps, and the like, and the distributes it as appropriate. The intelligence office is also the unit NBC reporting and warning center. The battalion signal platoon is commanded by a signals officer who provides the operational and technical supervision of all battalion communications and coordinates communications with supporting arms and other units. The platoon operates the battalion headquarters radios and rear link radios, the message center, lays and maintains the battalion's line communications and provides for first-line repair of communication equipment. Okay, the, vehicles are the battalion the military way. police Maybe section assists turn. in route reconnaissance, signing and traffic control, and with the maintenance of discipline within the battalion area. They man the unit PW collection point and the headquarters information post. The section also forms part of the headquarters protective force and is included in the headquarters recce party. Other elements within the battalion headquarters location could include anti-armor, recce, and pioneer platoon headquarters, as well as any assigned armor and engineer representatives. It also includes a small administrative element to assist with its housekeeping. It is possible that the CP complex could be rendered ineffective by enemy action. Command would then be exercised by the CO from his tactical command post if it were deployed, or the DCO would assume command of the unit from the designated alternate headquarters location. When Battalion HQ undertakes a move, the CO, depending on available resources, may deploy a step up, which will move forward and establish in the new location. From there, it can assume control of the battalion's activities until the arrival of the main body. A two -time. Most of the battalion operations are directed from the tactical command post, which is deployed by the CO when he needs to be near the scene of the action. The CO will decide the composition of his TAC CP, which usually includes the artillery battery commander to advise and assist on fire planning requirements, a staff officer to update his battle map, and any others as may be required. The battalion communication structure is dependent on combat net radio. The major nets include the battalion and company command nets, a guard net, the administrative net, and the mortar, anti-armor, recce, and assault pioneer platoon nets. In addition to the man pack and vehicle mounted radios, other communications-related equipment include voice and telegraphic security devices, field phones, switchboards, and data terminals. Dispatch riders are also used to carry traffic anywhere in the battalion area. The four rifle companies provide the combat power of the battalion. They are identically structured, normally number 137 all ranks, and deploy with a headquarters and three rifle platoons. The headquarters consists of the company commander and second in command, the company sergeant major, a surveillance detachment, and communications and transport personnel. In battle, the HQ is augmented with an ambulance and MRT. The CQMS operates from the battalion A echelon location. He normally comes forward under cover of darkness to resupply the company and then returns directly to A echelon where he is replenished and waits until called forward with his load of combat supplies. Each rifle platoon, usually 36 all ranks, is composed of a headquarters and three sections. 
The headquarters APC carries the platoon commander, the platoon warrant officer, a driver, a signaler, and a weapons detector, which mans either the 60mm mortar, the heavy short-range anti-armor weapon, or the general purpose machine gun. Each section of 10 soldiers is commanded by a sergeant. When dismounted, the gunner and the driver normally remain with the vehicle, providing cover and fire for the gun with their APC machine gun. Also included in the sections of equipment inventory are short-range anti-armor weapons, various types of grenades, and some image intensification weapon sites. The combat support company comprises a headquarters and mortar, reconnaissance, anti-armor, and assault pioneer platoons. When deployed, its headquarters personnel are grouped with the staff of the Battalion Operations Center. The mortar platoon provides the battalion's indirect fire support with eight mortars, which are generally organized into two groups, each with its fire control party. Platoon headquarters forms the battalion FSCC. The high explosive mortar rounds are a major casualty causing weapon against dismounted infantry, and their smoke and illumination capabilities are invaluable. The reconnaissance platoon is divided into six highly mobile detachments. Four observation detachments, which tend to operate from fixed locations due to the large amount of surveillance equipment that they carry, and two sniper detachments. These elements collect information on the enemy and on terrain within the battalion's area of responsibility, cover gaps and exposed flanks, and assist with radiation and chemical detection and monitoring as required. They employ specialist surveillance aids, including long-range night observation devices, laser range finders, short-range radars, and an unattended ground sensor system to assist with their observation function. The platoon commander works closely with the battalion intelligence officer, the operations officer, and the anti-armor platoon commander in preparing the unit surveillance and target acquisition plan. The anti-armor platoon provides the battalion's powerful long-range anti-armor defense weapons. It comprises 16 detachments, which operate in pairs. These may be deployed throughout the battalion's area, covering gaps or flanks, or detached to company locations to thicken up their anti-tank defenses. The platoon locates an element at battalion headquarters to assist in coordinating and developing the unit anti-armor plans. The platoon commander spends much of his time well forward, coordinating the deployment of his detachments or wrecking new firing positions. The assault pioneer platoon has a headquarters and stores element and three work sections, which may be grouped on a battalion task, individually deployed or detailed to the companies. The platoon is capable of carrying out minor field engineering tasks and constructing field defenses. They assist in maintaining the battalion's mobility, which may involve anything from firing explosive lane clearing charges to using flamethrowers against bunkers. The platoon is also responsible for radiation and chemical detection and monitoring within the battalion area and setting up and operating the battalion's operational decontamination facility. The administration company provides combat service support to the unit. It is commanded by an infantry major and consists of a headquarters, maintenance and transport platoons, and three independent supply, ration, and medical sections. The company headquarters controls the battalion's A and B echelon activities, normally from a command post established in the A echelon location. If required, it can also function as the battalion alternate command post. The personnel services component of the company is normally commanded by the adjutant and located with the unit B echelon. The maintenance platoon is commanded by a Lemi officer and most of its members are technicians. The platoon includes three wheeled repair teams, six tracked repair teams, a recovery team, various weapons and ancillary repair teams, and a spare parts section. It locates in the A echelon area and provides an MRT for each company forward or wherever they are needed. 
the transport platoon, usually commanded by an infantry officer, carries the unit's reserve of bulk fuel and ammunition and operates from the Unit A echelon. The supply section is commanded by a log officer and holds on wheels the unit's reserve of clothing, weapons, equipment, and technical stores. Most personnel operate from the Unit A echelon, with the remainder functioning from the Unit B echelon location. The ration section operates under the senior cook from the A echelon location. It is made up of six mobile kitchens, which can be deployed to the rifle companies and to battalion headquarters. The section holds the unit reserve of hard rations on wheels and picks up both fresh and hard rations from the unit delivery point. The medical section normally details one ambulance per company forward to the F echelon area. Commanded by the unit medical officer, it establishes a unit medical station, normally near the battalion headquarters location. The section is responsible for collection, sorting, treating and preparing casualties for evacuation rearward. The mechanized infantry battalion fights as a component of the all-arms team and is dependent on the division replenishment and maintenance systems. With more than 200 wheeled and tracked vehicles, 1,400 weapons, 90 tons of ammunition, and nearly 1,000 personnel, the battalion is a formidable organization, more than capable of achieving the main goal of closing with and destroying the enemy.